so I am in Five Guys right now with Kat. Hi. Um, we just filmed some videos together, which will be up soon, which is awesome. And we have found the coolest drinks machines in the world. Look at this. Yeah. They're like touchscreen, and they have a million different flavors. What are you going to go for? Mike's going to go for regular Coke. I'm just going to go for water. <laughs> no. Um, Sprite. Look just... at all the different flavors you can get. Peach. Great raspberry cherry. This is cool. I got um, fruit punch lemonade, which actually tastes like it is really bad for you, but it's really good. And did you get the cherry? I got the cherry lemonade. Is it good? I love it. It's really good. Yes, I love these. And yeah, we ordered some burgers, so I will let you know what they're like. We've never been to Five Guys before, and we've heard like really mixed reviews of it. Like one of our friends recommended us to come here, and the other one said. Oh, it's not that great. But then Kat said it's amazing, so well, it's really good. really good. So yeah, I like I'm gonna it. try it. So here it is, guys. This is my burger. <laughs> Say hello, burger. <laughs> I got hot sauce and jalapenos and lettuce. And I like how they're like really squished. You know, like compacted. Mm -hmm. And these are the fries, spicy fries. What do you think, Mike? The, the is it good? Are good? Burger. Better than In and Out. I think I'm an In and Out burger man still, really? but I'll, I'll put my judgment at the end. Do you prefer this or In and Out? I prefer this to In and Out <laughs> for sure. Here we go. So Five Guys was awesome. I Even actually really, really liked it. Once I ate my burger, like I was unsure with the chips, but it was good. It's good. But then you tweeted about Five Guys. Oh. <laughs> I tweeted. Like, and you, you, you edited my tweet because it looked like you got it wrong. Like I had some spelling mistakes and you just, oh, that doesn't look quite right. But okay. then you mislooked the fact that it said, I, mm, tweeted, I had a tasty five guys. I, had, I tweeted saying, I had a great time with at Catrific. We had five guys. Mmm. <laughs> and then I realised what I had tweeted, which was kind of crazy. Silly, but silly Yeah, girl. so that was good. Kat's gone home now. It's actually really cool to spend some time with her because... Um, I've only ever met her once and like I didn't really know her that well so it was cool getting to know her and she's really super nice too and Mike liked her a lot too didn't you? Yeah. And we did some kind of like personality analysis thing with her um, which she does a lot on her channel I don't know if you guys will follow Kat or not but if you do you may have seen some of her like personality analysis stuff and that was really cool so um, yeah look out for that sometime on her um, YouTube channel. Anyway, we are on Robertson now, which is why I just had a total like mind blank because I just walked past the Mac store. Look how cool it looks with all their Christmas collection. Um, yeah, we're just walking down Robertson Boulevard now, which is actually one of my favorite places to shop in LA because it's kind of like quiet, um, but it has really nice shops and they almost feel like really separate and almost like really homely and nice. And it's just kind of a nice place to stroll. Strolling. Strolling. Ah, fancy seeing Chanel. Yeah. Don't, look if got don't look, don't look, don't look. So yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of shopping and then we'll probably update you a bit later from dinner or something. We're not entirely sure what we're doing yet, but we will keep you updated. Look at all the pretty lights on Robertson. All the trees have lights in them and it just feels really festive and nice. And I'm feeling like, even though it's warm and we're walking around in like just jackets and a hoodie, like it's cold for LA, but it's warm for us. Yeah. I feel like so Christmassy. And like, I don't know, it's just kind of like dusky and it feels like Christmas. I don't want it to be Christmas. And how many times can I say Christmas in one Christmassy sentence? Christmas. Hey guys, so as you may be able to tell, it's kind of dark now, but we're just on our way back to the hotel and I wanted to show you if they're there. I don't know if they're gonna be there, but because One Direction have been staying in our hotel, there's been like this crazy crowd of girls outside like every night waiting for them to come back. So I wanted to do a bit of like stealthy vlogging and show you guys like, it's crazy having One Direction staying in your hotel because they're like there the whole time. There's like this crowd of teenage girls outside the whole time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you. They stay on this wall, like right here. It's really dark, but there's like a whole line of them always there. Like up there. Can you see them up there? I don't know if you can. They're going crazy. They're going crazy. There's loads of people there. You can't see them. That's basically this noise that you're hearing right now. That is crazy <laughs> <One direction>. kids. <laughs> people going mad. Hey guys, so it is much later now and as you may be able to tell by my crazy hair, I'm actually lying on my back right now on the bed because I'm so tired. We've just been for an amazing, amazing dinner at a restaurant called Koi in LA which is actually 
quite a famous sushi restaurant and it was really good and it actually wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be because the portions are like huge for a sushi restaurant so it was really good and we had a really good time I didn't vlog in there because it was really dark and kind of an inappropriate place to vlog but I did take some pictures so I'll post those pictures um, on Instagram so if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram you'll be able to see them um, anything to add this evening? It was mighty tasty the One Direction fanness went crazy it's tonight crazy. as well. It's, it's like, like I think I think like the fans have twigged that they're staying here because there's like we were waiting for our car to come round at the front of the hotel for like five minutes and we saw like three groups of five teenage girls walk up to the door and you can see that like the doorman actively like closes the door so because you can tell like that they are here to see One Direction they're not like staying in the hotel because they act like a little bit nervous and kind of giddy <laughs> they're like oh, walking up to the door and the doorman's like hi ladies do you have a reservation and they're like um yeah we have a reservation at um the cafe like and it's obvious that they're there like then they've made a special reservation so it's kind of cute I think it's really cute look at the lights behind you LA LA, LA is awesome that is the final note of our vlog today LA is awesome. And now I can go to sleep. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Um, I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Actually, I do have one more thing to add. Hand comes in. So I got tweeted today by someone saying, I'm watching Do Where's My Car? And I love the fact that you always do, and then, after, you know, as a joke. And so I've always done this with Fleur, pretty much presuming that she's seen Do Where's My Car? <laughs> as the fact that, it's an epic film and it's hilarious. So I said today, oh yeah, look at this tweet she said about that. And she's like, it's from that? I'm like, what? We like, do it like every day. Like we do it every day. And you've put, from the first time I did it, it, you like, you came, you like had it, you like were like, and then you did it straight away. It wasn't like it was like a, oh, an awkward thing. Hmm, he's done a silly joke and then I'll just go and then afterwards for shits and giggles. You're just like. I thought it yeah. was like a personal joke. I look like I have no legs. Is there off the end of the bed? <laughs> oh dear. Well, on that note, goodbye. Goodbye.